Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I want to share with you my last um, vintage uh, resale shopping that I went on and my one last project that I did at, when I was on my trip. I am in home, so <clears throat> I'm so excited to be at home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you just can't imagine. I mean, I had a great time on this trip, but just to get home and get in your own bed, you know, it's just fabulous. And just be around everything that you're surrounded with, it's wonderful. So, <clears throat> I, anyway, I wanted to do this because I have some really cool stuff that I found. And then do some little share of something that I'm going to be working on. So, anyway, this let's start this. And I wanted to show you, this is my last um, project that I did on my trip. And this is the um, green um, envelope, the, I can't think of what you call them, class of envelopes. And I finished it up and put this really pretty colors on here. This is kind of like a, I call them the bright summer colors. Anyway, I had made some of these this up on my trip. I think y'all, if y'all watch some of my videos, you've seen this and it just really looked good on here because it had that green. I'd made that rose there and, and put that on there with a little safety pin. Sorry, y'all can't see what I'm doing because I'm not showing my stuff close enough. And then I added this here because um, I needed to add something there and, and put this little butterfly on there. And on the back side, I decorated it up too. I put this gorgeous little collage here on it and love that little uh, pink daisy looking flower. Another butterfly that I had on my trip. Another little embellishment here and this beautiful um, leaf garland here that I have in, uh, I bought just recently um, off of Amazon and it's got the really bright colors so I thought it was really pretty. So anyway, I got it all decorated up. Yes, you can open it up and hopefully I'm going to be sticking a real pretty fairy um, journal down in here or something. And anyway, it turned out really cute so I was happy, happy about that, uh, the way it turned out. And I wanted to kind of do a share with you. Uh, Julia um, let me look at her name to show you what I'm going to be working on. Um, let's see, Jul Julia McNeil Crafts. She is doing a, she wanted, I think she's doing a giveaway. And she's starting up this new website and it has to do with Lady, Lady B, I think is what she calls her. And so anyway, I told her I would do a VR for her um, to kind of help promote her new uh journey she's going on and um, anyway she's such a sweet lady I love to watch her videos and she's just, just so up spirited I'm going to be cutting this out and I'm gonna also make some smaller copies of this and I'm gonna fix up a journal because she's kind of has to do with with the bees that's what um, her, she is and this is something that Julia had come up with she she cracked she made this and come up with this idea and so I was I'm gonna I've got an idea what I'm gonna do. So I'm super excited to work on that. And I did stop at a Hobby Lobby. Unfortunately, I didn't get all the good finds that everybody else has been get, getting. But I did pick these up and I'm gonna use these to color in. Um, I got these at 40% off. So these are gonna become real handy. They're the double twin tips and got them over there in the arts, arts and crafts area where um, they have the stuff for people that are artist type things. And then these are like a glitter pen. So I got them all 40% off, so I was happy about that. Got these beautiful um, hot pink and this black trim that I got for 75 cents each. Picked these up to go with my Lady B. I thought that would be cute on my journal that I'm gonna work on, um, fix up. And also, I'm gonna probably be putting these on there. These little llamas, I think is what those are. And this pineapple because Julia loves pineapple so I'm gonna fix it up and make sure I use this pineapple. These were all 50% off the Cellology. I got some really, really cute iron-on uh, appliques and so I was, love, love these. These are gonna look really pretty in some of my journals, my fabric journals. Picked this up because I am working on some tea junk journals right now. So this I'm gonna be putting on the uh, signatures. And then these, got these 50% off, love them. They're stickers, uh, Paper Studio. 
they are gorgeous and they're gonna look good on my fairy books that I'm gonna start working on. So I have a lot of things I'm gonna be working on. <laughs> okay, well let's get started on this beautiful, lovely stuff that I got. Let me move this down. There we go. I got all these really vintage antique photos uh, for $8.95. I was so excited to pick these up. These I can actually scan in and use them in my Adobe Photoshop that I am trying to learn to use. So I can use them and try to make up some, I'm gonna try to do some digitals to put on my Etsy store. So I'm hoping that I can get smart enough to do it. It's kind of a learning curve. Um, I may have to take a little class on it, but Graphic Fairy does have a lot of neat um, information and tutorials that help you out. And they do have a, uh, a tutorial you can buy that will give you um, the basic, um, learn a lot of the little tabs and stuff. And that's what I really need. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. All right, so here is some more postcards that I got. These are beautiful black and white kind of sepia color postcards that somebody had got when they went to Paris. You can see that on there. It's, let me see. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, it's blurry. Anyway, they all say they're from Paris. And it's, you know, French writing, but I can't read it. Anyway, these are some architectural, architectural um, postcards. They have, show a lot of the really beautiful things that you can see when you're in Paris, evidently. And um, I love these chair ones. They're so gorgeous. And I just was so excited to get these. I bought three big containers of them um, for $3. And um, I got three different ones, so it was $9 altogether. But these will be fantastic in my junk journals. And let's see, what else? I got these two um, music Learn, uh, books. These are kind of like for learning to play the piano, um, studies and stuff. And I got them for a dollar each. And they're already, you know, aged and we're in good shape. This one here was uh, 1903. And let's see. You can see how pretty the pages are. So, got that. And I got this one here that I think it's 18-something. 1893. So these are gonna be some good um, pages I can use in my junk journals. And then this here I got is just absolutely gorgeous. I picked this up at a one of those craft malls, antique malls in Massachusetts, and um, it's just gorgeous. The, the, the thing when I bought it said that it was from 1950s. Um, I love it. It's so pretty. Whoever did all the detail work on this just did an excellent job. And they have embroidery. They have done some quilting. And I'm, I just love it. And so I'm hoping that I can force myself and cut it up and use it because that's what I bought it for. So I was to use it in my, some of my fabric stuff that I'm going to be doing. Here is a few more postcards that I got. These are the embossed postcards. They're really, really pretty. Love them. Got these for a dollar each, which I thought was a good buy because here in where I live, they're like $3 each. And these little play card things that I'm, they go, I don't know what they go to, but they're very, uh, you could tell they're been around for a while. I got these for a dollar each. I thought these were really cool and I can use them. And here is some feed sack that I picked up. Uh, this is a big piece. Uh, I was super excited to get this because I love the colors, the bright yellows and the, and the um, blues. It's kind of nearly like a turquoise blue, but it's just so vivid, and I got a, quite a big deal of this, and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I, I couldn't resist it. It wasn't terribly expensive. And also, I got this really, really cute uh, box. It's probably not too old, but... Um, I thought it was so pretty and it kind of reminded me of the blue willow. And I used to have that, that a bunch of that that I used in my kitchen. 
So I still love it. It's just that I'm not decorating with it anymore. But I thought this was so pretty. I love this box. I love the oval shape of it. And I'm gonna use it when I get finished decorating my craft room here in my craft room. And I also, which I'm gonna keep this wrapping paper because it would be great to decoupage on something. Got this really pretty blue willow, um, little bitty, it probably goes to, to, it's a saucer, you know, a little saucer plate, but I got this too and I couldn't resist it, you know? Even though I don't decorate with it, you could still get small stuff. So anyway, y'all, I had a fantastic time on my trip, but so excited to be at home and um, I'm excited to get back in my craft room. I'm gonna maybe take a little trip to Tuesday mornings today and go to church later today, but um, I have to go to the Walmart and go to the grocery store and get all my supplies back in order. So thank y'all again for g going with me on this journey, on this wonderful trip that me and my husband took and for um, commenting and just being so sweet. I do appreciate it and I just want everyone to have a blessed day and thank y'all again. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing some more stuff. This Hopefully this week I'll be doing some more videos. So hopefully I'll get through with Lady B. Thank you.